one one of the one of the uh, few times that I did go out yesterday, which amounted to one time, uh -huh. after I uh, got up at five thirty, I went to um, a CVS, and uh, there's a little kid in the store. You know, we we're talking about kids and everything, and this and how wonderful they are, how, and how, oh, how just and marvelous they, complete they are. You. Complete you and, and as a person, as a human being. Yes, <laughs> I remember you saying that. <laughs> this little kid is running around. This boy. And the mother is just like, can't be bothered. It's like, let let everyone else take care of my kid because I'm busy looking at makeup or something that she can't use because her life is over anyway. So she tells the kid to sit down by the blood pressure check machine by the pharmacy area. Uh -huh. And uh, the kid sits down there and it says right on it, no children. She goes, here, sit, play with this. Play with this? Play with it. Oh, boy. So the kid's pushing the buttons and everything, and he put his arm through the hole uh -huh. and then pushed the button, and it goes, <laughs> and it starts tightening up on his arm, and he's pulling it, <laughs> and he starts going, eh, eh. I, dude, I was laughing so hard, and, and everyone saw me laughing, and they're looking at me like I'm the idiot. Why are you the idiot? I'm a fan of the little effers, but uh, oh, I would be with you hysterical. laughing on that one. The kids started crying. It was yeah. so funny. <laughs> He's like, eh, and the mother goes, well, don't put your arm in there. It's like, you told him to sit there. It says no children. Yeah. You adult. That machine scares the crap out of me. Every once in a while, I'll do that. And, but, and, and you're convinced that it's just going to keep going. And yeah. It stops just when you're ready to have a panic attack. And one of the best Beavis and Buttheads ever is when Beavis put his hand in there and Butthead was looking to get someone to help. And then they, he decided he was going to cut Beavis' arm off. Or <laughs> get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, but they just... They, they, it's like... It says no children. Mm -hmm. Why would you place your little rat down there to uh, to take care of it? Uh, it to babysit him. It's a blood pressure machine, not a babysitter. Not a babysitter. There you go. People. You're checking out Opie and Anthony. We got Mike in North Carolina. I don't know if we have time to go to him. He says uh, he was listening to your story about the kid and the uh, blood pressure machine and the mom going, hey, play with this for a while, yeah. even though it's not for kids, right? Yep. Uh, but the mom's just looking for something to, you know, uh, babysit the kid while she does her thing. Yes, just so she could get her three minutes to herself. And Mike writes, it's all because you can't smack your kid around anymore. Yeah. Not in public. You got to bring back the spanking. The public spanking. Mm -hmm. Not even the private. Who cares about what they do in their own home? The public spanking where where the mother grabs the kid by the arm, yeah. holds him up so his feet are <laughs> dangling like brooks on the table, and then just whacks him right in the ass. That's what you got to do. You know what's weird about the public spanking? For the most part, most parents, I, I was going to throw some arbitrary number out there, but for the most part, the majority of parents know how far to take the public spanking yeah but every once in a while you'll be in public they don't do it anymore because now you get arrested which is ridiculous yeah. but you always saw that one parent that oof, oof. a little too uh, public a little too violent a little too violent like you know now it it, it goes into child abuse Just there's a fine line between you know getting the job done so the kid will listen to you a little more and Holy crap, you are scarring this kid for life. Dude, I would laugh my ass off to see a parent hit a kid and have the kid go down like Family Guy style. <laughs> where, they just, where they just, boom, hit the floor and their leg is bent. And yeah. <laughs> they're just completely out. You get hit as a kid. Yes. So did I. But, oh, I not but only not, got hit, I was It got to the point where being threatened to be hit was almost as bad as being hit. Yeah. I mean, Dad used to, uh, he, he'd use the strap. Uh -huh. But it was the strap. He'd, he'd have a belt, and he'd take it off and, and, and double that thing over and be like, if i got to come in there, I'm, I'm using the strap. And he wasn't kidding because we called his bluff. Your kids, you know, you go, I think he's bluffing. I don't, I don't think he's got the... <laughs> You're insane. I think he's bluffing. So you keep talking, All right? And he comes in and whack, just smacks you with the belt. And I'm not sure. I do remember it hurting, but I think it was the fear and just the act that was worse than actually the pain. Because I don't think he was really winding up and smashing you, right? Just enough to 
Like, that was enough to kill. It was terrorism. It was more a terrorist. It was the fear of the belt more so than the how, how the belt really hurt you. <laughs> and that's why you got to bring all this back, because uh, most people didn't use it. It's like having the death penalty but not really using it. Right. But it kind of puts that thought in uh, the kids, you know. Like I, Heads. I, I, I said this before, me and my brother, would, uh, we'd have bedtimes, you know, you'd have to go to bed. Uh, he, he had nine, I had 8.30. It was put this half Why did you have 8.30 and he had nine? Because he was older. Just to show, like, all right, you're a little older, you can handle a little more time. Oh, poor Dawn had to go to bed at, like, 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was, I don't understand what it was. His allowance was a little more than mine, just because he was a little older. But barely older. Only yeah, I know. A, only a couple of years. Like 18 months or something like oh, that. Oh, that's it? Yeah. That's weird. So uh, we we would uh, have our, our bedtime, but I wouldn't be able to go to sleep until Joe came in, and we'd start yapping and stuff like that. And then we'd like kind of creep out and look out our bedroom door because you, then you could see the TV and watch TV. And if Dad caught us doing that, whoa, he'd come he'd come out to the door with the belt and hang it on the doorknob, and it would petrify us. It would just sit there, and the buckle would glimmer in the light from the television, mm -hmm. and it would be like a whoosh when he left it there on the door, and that was enough, like, you just shut up now. Because the next time, he's going to take that belt and smash you with it. You should have said, hey, faggot, you left your belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I imagine. <laughs> there was one time, because I would do things, and just as a kid, you didn't know. Uh -huh. Remember that song, um, Celebrate, Celebrate, Dance to the Music? Who did that? Uh, Three Dog Night or something? Celebrate, Celebrate. Dance to the uh, music. Wait, wait, I got something. Did it celebrate. Hold on, I got something. Celebrate. De yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. Is it Three Dog Night? Great. Why don't you go work for the guys uh, next door? Well, I'm just saying uh, that song was, was popular, well, and I was a little tater tot. It's still popular down the hall. Go, yeah, go hang out with CBS. CBS! When it was popular, I, uh, I, I was standing on the uh, coffee table in the uh, living room singing it but i wouldn't say celebrate i would say a brand new word that i had just learned that sounds like celebrate but um has uh, a master in front of it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> how old were you i don't like six seven <laughs> and, and then when that part would come around i would just sing that and we used to be able to say the word on the radio yeah, not anymore. Got to yeah. keep it friendly. <laughs> yeah, the chorus is a while away, but everyone wow. knows. Well, most people know. So I would do that. And my father would come in. He came in. I was just having fun. I didn't know what the word meant. And instead of saying something like, hey, Anthony. Don't say that. That word's inappropriate. Sure. Uh, it, it's a big person word. It's some, just it's some parenting thing. Wham! I got smacked with the belt right off the table. Family Guy style. <laughs> that was you, it. Flump. Down goes Ann. I was down goes Ann. Here, Here it is. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Celebrate. Yeah. And I would just be like, bait, bait, dance to the music. Bait, bait, dance to the music. And Dad comes flying in and smacks me off the table with the belt. <laughs> Oh, be because that's what he was left doing, because Mom just wouldn't have any more of them. <laughs> this would be a great uh, break if we could use the word. Let's bring the word back to our show. Can we just bring the word it's back? It's not going to hurt anybody. Come on. Yeah. How about you work with us a little bit here? We'll, yeah. get, the, we'll, we'll get the cum up a little bit for you and the TSL. <laughs> just bring yeah, back some of these words for they'll us. They'll love it. They'll but love it, right. It's constantly things like that. Like, like things, kids would say, you know, dirty words and stuff, and it was in the privacy of our own home, so it's a great time to kind of, you know... I guess do some parenting and say, well, that's a word that isn't appropriate. Yeah. But boy, dad could pull that belt out. You know, but you would sneak out of your room. I think a lot of people could relate to that. And you would, like, try to take a peek at uh, the TV or you would try to, you know, do something. Because you didn't want to go to bed at 830. No. And I never understood that because it wasn't like you were getting ready for your, <laughs> your, your big job on Wall Street. Right. Your big white collar job somewhere. You were just a kid, Get ready for first grade, getting ready to go out and and play outside again. Yeah, but it, it finally hit me years later because as a kid you have no concept that your parents actually didn't want to be around you all the time. That's what it was. You had no concept of that. <laughs> they they made uh, 
They made. Uh, uh, I'm distracted by the Family Guy, like everybody else. I can't take. There has never been a cartoon that has portrayed some someone being punched, and and better than Family Guy. Yeah. There, there was a one of the episodes I was watching the other day where they have the honeymooners clip. Where it's like, one of these days, pow, right in the kisser to the actually, moon. They finally do it. And a he family guy. belts her in the face, and she just goes down on the ground. Like a, like a, like it's a, just stay to the moon. Yeah. Bam. But the, you learn later on in life, like, wow, my parents actually didn't want me around all the time, so they gave me this 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 bedtime yeah. so they could hang and, and relax. They didn't want each other around, though, so I don't understand that either. Mm -hmm. I guess they couldn't send each other to bed. So well, they'd sit on the couch and watch, like, Ronan Martin's laughing yeah, or something. Because what would the logic be of sending you to bed at 830? <laughs> yeah, it, it was absolutely to keep us... Uh, out of the room, right? I get, and it was only, it was really only for, um, it was really only for uh, the winter during school, uh -huh. uh, because you know we had to get up for school, so that was when we were sent to bed early. Uh, during the summer months, yeah, we were pretty much staying up until we kind of got tired, uh -huh. maybe ten, sure, ten thirty. There's the honeymooners clip. Maybe oh, we can link that, that today to onaradio.com. <laughs> Bel he belts her and she goes right down on the table. <laughs> the punch is hysterical. <laughs> Crack. That's that's wonderful. Let's you see. know what the best thing about uh, uh, the uh, Family Guy punch is? The people don't budge after they're hit and knocked down. They don't bounce. Uh -huh. Their limbs don't move. They just hit the ground and stay there. <laughs> like they were hit by a car. Yeah. Their legs askew. <laughs> that's the best part of that is it's the fact perfect. that she's, the table is tipped and her, her legs are bent. Yeah. She's been shot. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Stryker. Stryker. That's great. Striker! We didn't expect to get here today with the show. Uh, Jimmy's standing by with a fine story about a baseball card, but uh, we'll take a few Ooh. of these first. Go ahead, Striker. Hey, good morning, boys. Good when, morning. Uh, I was about 14. I mouthed off to my mother using words I can't say on the radio. My father was in the garage, heard me. He came in, looked at my mother who was crying, looked at me, picked me up, and threw me through a sliding glass door. Wow. Wow, that's a nice one. You know, maybe yeah. we should play... Um, I, I don't have the phrasing uh, right yet, but normal behavior or child abuse when you were a kid. Oh, mine was all child abuse. In, in, in this no day doubt. and age, it would have been. Yeah, Not even in this day and age. I'm, I'm talking when the rules oh. were different, hmm. parents were able to, to use it properly, but then some would go too far, like maybe in your case, your father. You'd call any, some people call any physical discipline of kids child abuse now. No, it's I know, but we're not even talking about that. We're talking about... Like I said, when we started this conversation, we used to go into stores and see parents hitting their kids, and yeah. some you would look at and go, oh, okay, they're, they're just disciplining their kid, and others you'd be like, wow, what's going on at home there? Don't you think hitting well, a kid with a belt is child abuse? <laughs> Depends how you hit and, them, you know, I guess. And, I don't know. I got soap in the mouth occasionally, like, I, but it was never beaten. For real? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, when um, I was... Uncle Soap? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told me was. I said, but liquid soap dispensers haven't been invented yet. No Soap in the mouth. When I was really... Wow. Uh, it was what never... Ha what hacks? I, my, they really were. My parents were like the uh, the girl fart joke of, of uh, parenting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were... They, they sucked at parenting because... Hack disciplinarians. Because you're still a potty mouth. I was... Oh, I didn't do, look, that worked. And it, it, it's, it's a wonderful career for Jimmy. So yeah. what were they thinking? They, uh, I was cursing through the window one time to show off for one of my friends. It was like in the front window. I was just yelling like, just f bombs. And I, <laughs> I, and I remember going, "This, this is your, this is your dick reporting." I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I just said that, and I heard, I heard the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, I, I was just doing it to oh, make my no. friend laugh, and I heard this. <laughs> no, the keys. They had come in through the back door, and I realized. Wait, I meant they had been listening the whole time, and that they silently stunned. I ran from my front all the way around the apartment building. To the, I was so stupid. I was like six. Where are you uh, going? I walked up the back door like it wasn't me who yelled it. I walked in. And I was like, "Hi, why don't you guys get home?" <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> I really was a dumb. Wow. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I remember. Uh, all I remember is soap on the teeth. Like my father sat me down and scraped soap against my teeth. Uh, on the top and the bottom, I had to hold soap in my mouth. Yeah, for let's a while. poison our child. I spit it out. Yeah, that's a good idea. You think it's poison? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can't eat it. Yeah, but look at the toys we were playing with. Come on, lead. I laugh yeah. at soap. My my father got mad once. We were driving and uh, and um, 
the Simon and Garfunkel song came on. When I look back to all the crap I learned in high school, that one. And um, he. Uh, whoa, he whoa, was, whoa, no, no, no. Kodachrome. No. Oh. Yeah. Kodachrome. E Rock knows that? Yeah. You want yeah. to see Chris, Chris Wannabe? <laughs> It's Kodachrome. It was a, it was a I, I I remember it now that he yeah. said Kodachrome, but I, I couldn't I couldn't recite lyrics from Kodachrome. Well, it was you know because I remember because now it sticks out in my head. He was so like he goes he looked at the radio, and he was like, you know, words like that don't belong on the radio. And 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 uh, uh, you know that's that's it's just horrible that uh, there's a song like that and it's going on the radio. Meanwhile, I heard stuff come out of his mouth that uh, were just the worst curses and uh, racial slurs and everything else. But but that got him because it was on the radio. And now look, <laughs> I was going to say, why isn't he alive to see what his son is <laughs> spewing yeah. every day? My son was actually he'd fired be for what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, he'd be proud. I taught him well. Uh, he hears the undertones. Who the hell knows? He hears the undertones in heaven. It, yeah, in the, in where he's heaven. living among the dead people in the right. clouds, it's where they live and beat people with straps, mm. <laughs> beat the little children, mm. the little dead cherubs. Mm. <laughs> Can I hear a little coat of chrome? Oh yeah, yeah. See, me and Dad just driving. We we're driving in Central Islip. Yeah, I remember the road and everything. I remember this instant in my life from this long ago when this song was popular. When I think back on all the crap. Crap? Why? Who the f wrote this song? You can't f***ing say crap. <laughs> Probably some f that wrote this. Whoa. You can't say crap on the f***ing radio. <laughs> uh, what kind of f is this? I bet your f***ing mother likes this. <laughs> But it's just crap, Dad. Crap, you said crap. I don't hit me, you f little. F <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> as this fun song is just playing. Yeah. All hell's breaking loose. And now I can't hear this song without thinking about how he said crap was bad. I'm picturing Reservoir Dogs stuck in the middle with you. Yeah, yeah. Nice little the song. Same type of thing. Or just a horrific thing happening. I liked it, but he didn't like the crap part because it was f***ing offensive. <laughs> I wish I met your dad. Oh, believe me. Everyone that met him loved him. He was a fun guy, was what sure, it was. Sure he was very like fun, but, uh, you know. I want to see a picture of him. He what do you look like? Kind of like, like Anthony. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's creepy, like actually. Yeah. yeah. Anthony looks like more me. like his dad than uh, your brother Joe does, I believe. Yeah, we're kind of a mixture. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, uh, now that my brother with the shaved head and everything, because my father was bald at, like, 20. Was he really? Yeah. Then he... He had like just the Phil Collins strip, uh -huh. and then the horseshoe, uh -huh. and then uh, then he decided to grow it out and do the comb over <laughs> for quite a while. Oh. And he had this men's hairspray, and he would spray it on, and then he'd go outside, and a big gust of wind would come, and he would look like a sailboat. <laughs> just, the hair would stick up in the wind. He was one of those guys, though, huh? Oh yeah, but then with once the comb over, he, yeah. Once he went out to California, though, he was able to wear a cowboy hat all the time. So you couldn't so, tell. Yeah, then that didn't matter. Too bad he didn't, wasn't able to get the plugs like you got. I didn't get plugs. I got individual follicles implanted in my head, taken from, harvested from the back where it doesn't fall out. Right. And then individually placed uh, in the uh, uh, thinning areas of my head. It wasn't as bad as my father's was. He, right. he was you know. Do we, get a, do we get to take a peek today? No, nah, it's not going to be done until like uh, spring, summer. It's got to it's gotta go. Oh, you showed me when I got back from my honeymoon. No, it's pretty impressive. It's like is got, it growing? It's like I got the mange. Is it growing a little bit? No, it's like little little nub. Uh oh, maybe it didn't take. No, it took. Oh no. No, it's going exactly oh, as planned. Everyone, uh, you know, there's people out there. They got the sod, and all of a sudden, oh no. No, the little hair oh, shaft it take. initially. It's all brown. The little initial hair shaft uh -huh. uh, falls out, uh -huh. but not the little nodule on the end. And the uh, the uh, uh, follicle is is still in there. You're getting nervous, and aren't you? And then it grows. No, I'm not at You're all. You're getting nervous that it's I've not working. I've seen the whole thing. I've seen the video. I've seen everything. I'm not getting nervous. Yeah, I hear it in your voice. It's, it's okay. Fun. No, no, it's the it's exactly what is supposed to happen. I swear, you'll see. 
I'm starting to do the rooster to push. It's like a. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it's the I call it the rooster. the rooster. The younger kids do it, but I'm like, you know what? Yeah, so if German I push, guy does it too. <laughs> if I if yeah. I if I push a little from this side, a little from this side, ah, yeah. like I have a full head of hair. What is that? Kingpin. Oh yeah, kingpin. Oh oh. <laughs> Did your dad look like uh, Bill Murray and kingpin? <laughs> With the comb over. Best hair ever. <laughs> that was great. Oh, you in the diner? Did he go hello? And the girl smiled and went, "Not you." Yeah. <laughs> was the, not you. You. <laughs> Some yeah. great line. <laughs> Kingpin rules. I got to go see that uh, movie again. No, that's uh, when Bill Murray was still having fun making movies. Did he make a fun movie after that? And don't give me uh, these these weird, crappy movies that he did. Where you, you can't even wow. say the title because you have to see it in front of you. Groundhog Day was after before or after Kingpin? Before, before. Yeah, 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 definitely. That was a good one. What did he do after Kingpin? What did Bill Murray do after Kingpin? Lost in Translation. He did that fish movie. Garfield, aquatic, aquatic, whatever. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But those are those like yeah. kind of boring, critically acclaimed boring. He movies. was in Get so Smart. Like, oh boy! Did not know that because had no desire to see Get Smart. Broken Flowers. He was in. Yeah, that one. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zazusu. Did you see that? Yeah, I I, I, I tried. I tried. I even watched it a second time. Yeah, I man. really tried to figure out <clears throat> that movie and why people liked it. Lost in Translation, I liked, but he wasn't really a. A comedian in that movie. No. Did you uh, see Lost in Translation? No, the one with What's Her Face. Oh, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. That's when we all discovered that piece of ass. He was boring in that. I thought it was a boring movie. The Royal uh, Tenenbaums oh, was another one. I was like, I tried. That was. Charlie's Angels is already eight years, nine years old? What? What? How did that happen? And then Rushmore. Rushmore was pretty good. That's like 10, uh, no, another years one around. that I'm just like, nope. That's the same guy that did Life Aquatic, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't get his movies. I don't like them. I find them boring. We want the silly, fun Bill Murray back. Yeah, for we want stripes. Kingpin and Stripes and Caddyshack, Caddyshack Bill Murray. It really does look like Kingpin was his last like real fun movie because then you start looking at his stuff before Kingpin and it's all fun stuff like Ed Wood. That was, I mean, his character was. Oh, a fun Ed character. Wood was great. Groundhog Day. What about Bob? Scrooge, Little Shop of Horrors. I mean, what happened yeah. to that film? What about Bob was on? It was during, on the other day. During actually. the break or whatever. God, is that movie great. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a great movie. <laughs> I guess these guys, they just get bored being just, you know. It's like one one movie and it was over. He just like went in right. a complete different direction. That's too bad because we're all uh, huge Bill <laughs> Murray fans. Where were we going here? We got Everybody wants to talk about getting hit by of course. their parents. Dad hit me. I did a 180 flip. If any of these are, are worth going to, let me know. Wow. James in New Hampshire. Uh, smack kid on hand. Lady yelled at me for abuse. All right. This is the ones we want right here. <laughs> Tim, Pennsylvania. How are you? Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm a teacher. I had my class trip. Uh, we were going to, to the subway, and my little three-year-old was with us, and he was throwing rocks at the kids, and my, my one of my students came and told me. So I kind of, like, you know, crouched down. I was like, no, you can't do that. And I just tap, tap, tap on his hand. And some lady comes up and she's like, that is wrong. That is never right to, to hit a child. Oh. And she's like, lady, mind your business. Right. And she's like, it is my business. And so I kind of went up to her. I was like, you know what? When he gets home, I'm really going to give it to him. It's just because of you. It takes a village. <laughs> That's funny. You threaten to beat him when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> you threaten the kid in yeah. front of her. Yeah. That is good. I'm going to beat him when That's we right. get home and you yeah. don't know where I live. Yeah. And it's all because of I'm you. I'm sleeping tonight, I'm going to throw this kid a beating because of you. If you didn't butt in, he'd have had a happy little day. Yep. But now because of you, he's going to get a black eye. And I'm going to use fire. Somehow <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use fire in his beating. <laughs> That's right. Hey, I gotta go. I gotta go back to the Bill Murray discussion. I I want to thank Booby Man. Broken Flowers. I saw Broken Flowers. I don't remember the movie, but I no, do remember what Booby Man is uh, referencing here. And I forgot all about it until he one wrote this magical scene: the teenage girl getting completely naked in Broken Flowers. Yes. I stopped breathing when I saw that. That is... Uh, I uh, stopped breathing. Can, amazing. You can just find that clip online, obviously, right? I'll try. Go to Mr. S what, what is it, Mr. Skin or whatever? I hate those goddamn budding skis. She walks, what, into the room? She's on the phone with her friend or her boyfriend, and she just walks in where Bill Murray's sitting waiting for something, just yeah. completely... Naked. <laughs> Naked, yes. Pretty smoking. <laughs> Pretty smoking. Whatever happened to that girl? 
Has she been in other movies? What's mm -hmm. her? I don't know her name. I don't know who she is. <clears throat> Jimmy, did you see Broken Flowers? No, no. Do you know the scene we're talking about? No. Nope. Oh, my God. Can we find that really fast? Well, who is she in relation to him in the movie? Is she his daughter or is she his... Uh... I saw the movie. I think it was the daughter of the, the woman he was banging. And he's there and she walks in naked? Oh, yeah. It's it's a ridiculous scene. Is that what the it's movie It's one of the hottest scenes ever. As far as, like, reg you know, regular movies go, not porn and stuff. Hotter than Brokeback? Wait. <laughs> yeah. Well. That spit on the hand scene. <laughs> there it is. Look at this. She just walks in. Oh, oh my God. That's a cool. Wow, when was this shot? 1976? Oh, just pick up a razor, sweetie. Well, Jimmy doesn't like uh, hair at all. Well, you know. Sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's fine. Sometimes, yeah. you got to go retro every yeah. so often. Yeah. yeah, it was Sharon Stone's daughter. <laughs> no. <laughs> But uh, just a very fine scene. All right, I, uh, did she see him looking at her? Her ass is awful, by the way. Did did she see him looking at her, or no? Did she not know he was in the room when she walked in? Uh, I think she was yeah, purposely she doing that yeah. to Bill Murray. Yes, that's hot. Yeah, she was a little uh, a little nympho. Mm. Mom used to beat me with everything. Where's Sam? Get Sam. Uh, with everything she could find, mother threw soap can at me. Uh, parents made me drink cod liver mm. oil. Ugh. Yeah. My, my mother tried to discipline uh, me uh, when dad uh, cut out and hit me with the strap. And the, right. the, the tip of the strap, like, did a whoosh, cat of nine tails right on the tip of my little thingy when I was a kid. Uh. And I screamed like that little girl with napalm on her running down the road in Vietnam. <laughs> Uh, and that was the last my mother ever tried to discipline me with she a She didn't hit you there again? No, no she kissed it all better. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all worth it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I showed her. <laughs> Taught her a lesson. Yeah. <laughs>